Hey guys, so today we are going to look at how to do transitions, making intros in Acid Pro, and other things like sound effects, like reverb, convolver, all these compressing songs, how to make a good intro, adding effects. As you can listen, here's a sample intro I made, incorporating all these things into one thing. So, I hope you learned something from it. If you learn, <laughs> hit the like button, get subscribed. Thank you for the support, anyway. Now, let's start by recapping on what we learned through in part one of the video. When you load in a song onto us, the first thing you have to do is bitmap the song, get the tempo so that this will help you to get accurate measurements for scratches you're going to do and placing effects and other stuff as well. The Make sure you balance the audio by default by default acid tracks come with negative six decibels of audio so make it the default it's supposed to be <laughs> So by I presume if you let's start by the first part transitioning Tr let's say you want to transition from this part to this part so I assume if you have watched the first video you're supposed to be able to make small simple baby scratches so you're going to build on that let me put a marker this is where we want to transition to let's say we start the transition from there so at the last part you should just put a baby scratch on like on from the third beat to the fourth beat with half step separation like you can put let's try this simple baby scratch It sounds it sounds fine but it's not there so let's do half of it I move this there now this is a quarter step scratch like so like that <laughs> so when you put this simple baby scratch from here you can also do a, a smaller version of it an eight an eighth step scratch is here's how you can do even to to fill up the space like this now this is this commonest scratch you'll hear DJs like DJ Stone and DJ Kalonji use this this is the simple version of what they use now using the, the principles you can interswitch between these and these eighth step scratches and this quarter step scratches like now this this is the basic principle of what is done you can just do something like that just play around this there isn't really a right way to do it because it's your creative freedom just do whatever you feel whatever comes to you to mind <laughs> Let's go back again. Let's do a variation of this. Now, this is a simple variation. Why isn't this? now 
now we have transitioned from uh, no we can let's reach up to the marker where we, we wanted to start the first place so let me now when you if you have this principle you can go to even more complex stuff like mixing and matching them but they just have to sound good you just have to be creative in how you do it ah. now you can also go to one sixteenth scratches So we have successfully transitioned from this. These are a four bit transition. This is the most standard. Going past that is mostly not advisable because the listeners of your mix will start getting bored with too many scratches. Scratches are like spice to a mix. A mix should not be mostly scratches. But if you're making mixes to flex on your friends, flex on fellow DJs, you have demos that just purely scratches. So that's part one, transitioning thing. Now we're going to look at how to add sound effects to your mix to certain parts. Now in Acid Pro, sound effects are added onto tracks, a whole track. So to add a sound effect, press the track effects button on the left hand side panel of the track of you want to add sound effects and you find a dialog box like this one so to add an effect you just edit chain click at the top there will be brought to plugin chooser select all now for the first effect we're going to do is flange the most common preset we'll use in flange used in flange are wawa one wawa four slow flange at times just depends on or you can use any depends on what you want let's let's see how flange sounds <laughs> now that is slow flange Let's go to Wawa One. Wawa One is used mostly when transitioning to high high instrument songs, songs that have so many things going on. Then Wawa Four has mostly has like a Twitter sound effect. Now. You can mix and match. You can add. Let me show you how. Uh, flange. You can mix and match and add a track that goes from normal, normal to our one to our. <laughs> Now that's mostly what to what is used in flange effects in mixing. Let's go to the next effect. Now the next common effect used in mixing is usually a reverb. Now for reverb, the main presets is cathedral and siwa. Siwa is usually uh, like to stop uh, to stop a track let's start with cathedral now the cathedral effect is usually when you place the cathedral effect it's nice to remove some blur and to remove the muddiness
that will do and if you want to the other preset uses sewer or metal tank you can simply click here go to metal tank or go to sewer it will just be there now for this if you have a sewer effect it's nice to have the small a small ending part like this. then now you can transition back to you can transition back to this at, yeah. so at save time let's just copy like this scratches and that's how simply you can get so this you have put an effect then transition back to the start so that's as simple as it gets to in terms of mixing scratches effects now you have to play around with the effect get whatever you feel like whatever whatever sounds interesting to you because this is an art this is how you express yourself now interests are mostly for advanced when you get comfortable manipulating songs when you start getting 3p songs 3p songs are songs where you have the main song the a cappella, and the instrumental version so you can play with sounds to make like a story explaining yourself introducing a mix to the user to the your audience so making an intro is simply transitioning to many songs so that to give that it's like a preview to give a listener a preview of what the mix has now i have worked on a few intros before let me play here one that i just hope i don't get copyright strikes for this <laughs> This part from here to here is just this is an advanced technique I'll be doing in part three. You go to transform scratches, things like that. You'll be trying out complex scratch patterns. Now. now this make you this is like a flex, just not it's not that important in making intros. Intros is just a uh, blend blending music many clips it's like a small like fitting one hour of a mix into like two minutes so that's basically you just have to practice practice more you'll be good at it <laughs> Watch any finesse, watch any good tennis. Come, man, put a gun in my own. This is fresh and almost in contact with the cattle barrel. I did not go on. I mean, you talk with the factory saying you know what a cast us. You are washing them to Kubale, taking dinner and I wash a cooking garlic. We hear a turn now, boy, do we go? Pity joke, we go. Pity kiddo, and I chase a leaking dog. I mean, I chase a leaky. So, are you ready? Nama fans wanna say my tema boom and wash up. Iki kata there's no regretting. Can I switch back to factory settings? Hola, chica. Hola, gamba dorto. Leon Tyson de Kana, happen to your venue. Janari come na sada to the washana. So as always, just keep on practicing at the scale. Acid Pro is just has a learning curve, but once you get to it, you'll be making good mix tips. Uh, join me in part three. I'll be making. Uh, we'll be learning on complex scratches, things like that. And I hope you learned something. If you did, press the like button. Thank you for the support. There uh, we hit 1.1k subs. I always appreciate that. Like, subscribe, share, and see you next one.